Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. And right now, we are currently in Casiasco, Mississippi. We're going to be doing a driving tour of the town called Casiasco. We're going to make this left hand turn on East Jefferson. We're about three minutes away from our desired destination. We got a Baskin Robbins inside of a Marathon gas station on my right. It's like a whole trifecta of cooperation there because it's actually a kangaroo crossing uh, mini mart with a Marathon gas station and a Baskin Robbins ice cream parlor inside the gas station. There's signs on the right that read, Welcome to Casiasco. We got Redbud Financial Group on our left and we also have a United States Post Office on our right hand side. We're passing Highland Drive on my left hand side. We have some forestation and we also have some homes on our left and homes on our right. The homes on our right are tucked away behind trees. We're passing East Adams Street. We're currently on Jefferson and Adams. The weather is 40 degrees. It's a little bit chilly today. We woke up and had to throw um, the sweatpants on and the sweatshirt. There was a nice icy dew on the vehicle. A thin layer of ice that shielded the windshield. All right, so we're passing Smith, spelled S-M-Y-T-H-E. Now we're passing Southeast Street on our left. And now we're passing Bell Street on our right hand side. There's a home for sale on my left hand. I got vehicles behind me so I have to travel at the appropriate speed. Street, he almost got ran over. I slowed down for him, even though there was a car behind me. I think he thought a leaf was like a mouse. On our left, we got Casiasco Junior High School. All right, we are currently at our starting point. We can start the tour from here. City of Casiasco on our right is the shopping and dining. On our right is the city hall. We also have the historic courthouse and the opera Winf or the Oprah Winfrey and Club. Wow, because I believe Oprah Winfrey was from Mississippi, right? That's very interesting. All right, we have First Baptist Church on my right. We have the Renaissance Bank on my left. We're passing East Washington Street. I have the same vehicle behind me. On my left hand side was City Hall. I'm gonna try to go around the block. This vehicle behind me is kind of um, assisting that we drive a little bit faster. So I'm gonna go around the block. We're on East Adams. Wow, look at that white house over there, that white and gray house. Look at the rooftop. There's, there's like a gate that goes around the rooftop as if you're supposed to stand on top of that rooftop. We're gonna go around the block and take a better look at this. I'm gonna make a right hand turn. On East Adams, we were just on North Huntingdon Street. We're gonna go around the block and then get a better look to see what City Hall looked like. And then I wanna show you that home. That home was decent. We're passing the First Baptist Church North parking lot on our left-hand side. I'm gonna apply the wipers because we do have some moisture running off of the roof. Remember I said that there was moisturizement, frozen condensation on the windshield and on the roof since the sun is coming up it's stalling out and dripping so Casiasco is a city in Atala County Mississippi it's in the United States 
the population as of the year 2010 was 7,402 people. We're passing Andrum, we're on Adams, Andrum and Adams. We have homes on my left, homes on my right. I want to take this a little further though so we can try to go around the block. Hopefully it doesn't detour us off into another segment of the map. We have what looks to be like an old apartment complex on my right hand side that is boarded up. Let me try to slow down some. The sun was impeding your vision. See it? It looks like it was boarded up. I don't know if they're going to be working on it soon or what, but it's completely boarded. All right, we're at Bell Street. East Adams and Bell. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on Bell Street and let's see if this takes us around the corner. We're passing St. Therese or Therese Catholic Church. It's spelled th, but I'm pretty sure the H might be silent. All right, so unfortunately, our detour didn't take us around the block like I wanted to. It looks like it's gonna take us back to the main road and then we're gonna be responsible for turning at City Hall. So we're about to see Jefferson again. We're at Bell Street, Bell and East Jefferson. You remember when we passed Bell, right? And across the street is that house that's for sale. You see that house directly across the street with the white pickup truck? For sale, Adams Realty. 289-6131. They don't have an area code there. I guess the area code might be 662 because it has 289 or 290 and or it might be 662. But their sign just says 289-6131. So now let's make this right hand turn. We're back on Jefferson. sale on my right hand side. I didn't even notice that. Contact Griffin Pickle. That's an interesting name. Griffin Pickle. And we have another vehicle behind me approaching at high speeds. So I'm going to try to maintain with traffic, but we're going to make a right hand turn when we get back to the stop sign. The First Baptist Church South parking lot was on my right, and we also got Iglesia Bautista Nueva Vida, which means life. Vida means life. Now, right, let's make this right-hand turn. We got Jason White, attorney at law on my left-hand side. We're back at the road we were at earlier, except that vehicle's behind me. Again, I'm gonna allow them to pass, because this happened the last time around where there was a vehicle directly behind me and they didn't allow us to take in the environment so let's make this left right here so y'all can see city hall on east washington street huntingdon street and east washington i'm gonna make this left hand turn so there's a sign on front that reads kaskiasco red bud springs and indian days later name for polish american i can't read it because there's cars behind me I don't, I don't know. They're like, they're, they're about to pass me. Well, they're going to make an attempt to pass me. Go ahead. I'm going to allow them to pass because they were just trying to pass me and they swerved around me erratically. They're not giving me an opportunity to document. Look, we got the Natchez Trace historic route. What's interesting about that is we were just at the Natchez Trace uh, campground recently. All right, let's make this left-hand turn on Natchez Street in East Washington. We got Jordan Furniture Company on my right. It's a little flea market. So this might be their little downtown area. There's this little shops over here. We got Kosciuszko, Atella Partnership on our right. All right. I see a cool sign over here. I'm gonna follow the sign and we're gonna take one more look at that block with City Hall. But there's a cool sign right here that says, Casiasco, Mississippi on my right hand side. Check it out. I think that's a pretty cool sign. See, it's in blue and green. That's neat. Right on the craft cleaners 
dry cleaners and alterations building. Then we're passing this little gas station on my right. That was the one that we was, we were basically at the opposite side of the street earlier. We, this is Jefferson, we was already on Jefferson, but we're coming from the opposite way. We're back on this block once again. However, I'm gonna keep on going straight and we're gonna check out that house. There was a house um, that had that cool rooftop that I was mentioning earlier. The city hall on our left. We got National Land Realty Office on our left hand side. So now we're at Adams. And on top of the signs, it says Kaskiasco Historic District. On top of each of the street signs, it says Kaskiasco Historic District, which is cool. Identifying that we are in the Historic District. We're at Adams and Huntingdon Street. Look on my left-hand side. Look at that house. The thing that I find cool about the house is on top of the roof, like, you can see a metal fence that... Uh, goes around that cone structure up top and also on the roof on the on the left side it's pretty neat it's pretty cool and then they got some christmas decorations they have a flat i like the structure of the house it's a cool structure it looks like it's well maintained so we got some residential homes on my right We're now at Fairground Street and Huntingdon Street. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on Fairground. It was Martha's Collage. Um, it said bread and breakfast right there. It looks like it was coming out of a personal home, so maybe she opens up her home for business. So they have a university here. They have Magnolia Bible College. Located here in Kaskiasco. Make this left hand turn. We're at Comfort and North Natchez Street. We're approaching West Adams and North Natchez Street. That's our intersection. We're going to continue going forward. We're in North Natchez and Washington. We're going to continue driving up Natchez. Passing the flea market on my right hand side. We went left earlier. We're gonna go straight. There's another little cool block right here on my right. Casiasco has a partnership on our right. Uh, let's go. Let's go straight. Let's go straight. Because we can't enter. It says do not enter on my right hand side. So we definitely don't want to enter there. Passing off the square salon on my right hand side. Passing, wow, Tadeusz Kaskiasco, what a name of a street, that was an interesting name. The way it was spelled, Tadeusz, I believe is how it's pronounced, something like that. I can't really tell, I, for some reason, am getting these cars that are behind me, and they tend to, to tail me, so it's not giving me an opportunity to drive slower and take in the environment. I do apologize about that. We're at Coleman and South Natchez. Look at the house in front of us. Check out the stairway that goes to the front of it. It has like some woodwork um, creating like some cool decor for the front of the house. Some cool decor. Now I wanna make note that uh, Tennessee was kind of rough as far as the roads were. And Mississippi on a few of the towns we've been in thus far had some roughness to it. But that being said, there is a rattle that I have to address in the vehicle. Maybe by the next one, I'll make sure to address it. That's the bad thing about driving on rough roads is that you'll get squeaks and sound effects that you didn't have on your vehicle before you rode on those rough roads. We have Wesley United Methodist Church on my left-hand side. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn. 
Maybe we'll get another look at that name of the street that was kind of weird. We got Dotson Funeral Home on my right. We got Cozy Wings and Daiquiri Factory on our right. What an interesting combination, daiquiris and wings. Isn't daiquiri uh, alcoholic beverage? Uh, we're at Jackson and West Monroe. We have a karate business on my left-hand side if you want to work on your karate. We have Citizens National Bank on my right. We also have a professional tax service on our left. We're at Jefferson Street, Jackson and Jefferson. Uh, it looks like we're actually um, surrounded by more of the historic downtown district. On my left-hand side, we have a drugstore. In front of us, on our right-hand side, we have a business called Pickles Drugstore. And then you can see like the architecture is really historic looking. On our left, you have a pretty cool building. It looks historic. On our right hand side, we have several other small businesses such as Jason Southern Table, Lucille's Beauty Shop. You have something that looks like it's selling clothing. It's a state farm agency, but they have clothing. I don't know if it's like a flea market they have. Uh, Patterson's Jewelers Fine Diamonds on our right. A grocery store. We're at North Jackson and Washington Street. North Jackson and Washington. So that large building that was behind us is Atala County Circuit Court. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on East Washington. And you can look up and you see that they got Christmas decorations. It looks like on my right, they're doing a new awning. They got Christmas decorations all over the courthouse too. Up top, it looks like if you come here at nighttime, those decorations might turn on, it might light up, it might look really beautiful. Across the street on my right hand side, we got Rodeo Family Mexican Restaurant. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. We got Claude Julian's Clothing Company, Bloomers, Petals, and Presents. So you got angle parking, so if you wanna go shopping and all of that stuff. The square, I guess that's what they call it since it's like a square that surrounds the courthouse. We got a cool little uh, religious display on my right hand side based on the holidays. We're passing Renaissance Insurance on our right. We got Colhans Jewelers on my right hand side at the intersection of Madison and Jefferson Square. We're gonna make this left hand turn and make a complete roundabout of the square because there's more businesses over here. Um, one that catches my eye is the Guitar Academy on my right hand side. And if you look up, you'll notice there's still Christmas decorations. And you can actually look at the courthouse. The courthouse has Christmas decorations wrapped around those uh, Corinthian style podiums, the posts that hold up the awning. It's a lot of detail on that building. And this whole block must look awesome because they got Christmas trees on the lawn with like decorations. Even on my right hand side, like if you look at their bushes, they got bushes in front of their property that are lit up right now as we speak. You see the lights? Super ten. So this must look like a really dreamy block at nighttime. And it's a small town, so I can imagine that um, this is one of those areas where like everyone knows everyone when it comes to the holidays. They probably come to the downtown area, socialize, and all of that good stuff. MFWC birthplace. There was an information board there, but there's vehicles traveling, so I don't want to hold anybody up. So we can go straight, let's go straight, make a left and then come back down left. I'm interested in seeing what the surrounding blocks of the historic downtown area look like. We're passing Washington. I'm gonna allow this female to go. This is her neighborhood. I give her the right away. We're at West Adams. So Kosciuszko, I'm sorry, Kosciuszko, it's spelled with a ski, like a C, an S-C, but it's not pronounced Kosciuszko, it's pronounced Kosciuszko. Let's make this left hand turn on Adams. So the land, square miles, is about seven and a half miles square. That's what makes up Kosciuszko. 
We got law office of Doug S. Crosby on my left hand side. We're at Madison and Adams. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. We got Affla Insurance, Auto Home Life Commercial. Insurance agency on my right hand side. We got another religious building on my right with crosses. Another law office. We got a building called Strand. I like that sign. That's a cool sign. That's some cool uh, shutters up top that are closed on the second floor. You saw that? All right, this is the Rodeo Mexican Restaurant. I'm going to make this right-hand turn. Now we're going on the outskirt blocks that surrounding the square. We're at North Madison and West Washington Street. I'm making a right-hand turn on West Washington. We got that Mexican restaurant on my right-hand side. So I'm going to go over some basic information you can find on the World Wide Web via Google and or Wikipedia. I'm just going to relay the information to you. On my right hand side, we also have some Casiasco police. So I believe their police department might be nearby. We have a gigantic water tower next to us too that I'm gonna try to give us a better position of. So y'all can check it out. But it brandishes the Casiasco uh, name. Huge, right next to us, we're passing it. All right, so shortly before the war of 1812, David Choate, a French trader along with his wife, uh, Choctaw opened the I'm sorry I gotta pronounce this correctly it's C-H-O-A-T like Choat but I believe the A is silent so Choat stand and in along the Natchez Trace they chose a location near the intersection of the trace and a cross path that led to the Creek Indian Nation where there was a natural spring to provide fresh water at the approximation or the approximate location of the current town square, journals from the War of 1812 indicate that Andrew Jackson received supplies. I'm sorry, I'm checking the traffic behind me. Re received supplies at the Choate Stand. In 1850, the Choate family was forcibly removed to Indian Territory in Oklahoma by the Indian Removal Act, signed by Andrew Jackson. In 2017, Casiasco inaugurated an annual return to Redbud Springs Festival to honor this history. We're next to Atala County Tax Collector and Assessor on our left-hand side. Um, on our left-hand side, we also got High Edlard Park. I'm gonna look at that house on my right. Look at the rooftop. Wow, I love that. I love that right there. I love that house. That's an awesome house. You see the details on the porch, the baby blue one? And I don't even really like baby blue. That's not, like, that's my, one of my least favorite colors. Like, I like purple before I like baby blue. But it looks good. It doesn't look bad at all. It looks nice. I would love to pick that house up and then put it on a couple acres of land just so it's not so close to the street side because that's really close to the street side for my taste. This is coming from a kid that grew up in, in row homes. <laughs> I grew up in row homes and we live right next to the street side. Um, we got mirror image stylist and barbershop on my right hand side. I'm gonna make this left hand turn on Jefferson. We're at Wells and Jefferson. This is a stop sign, so I'm gonna make a complete stop and then we're gonna make this left hand turn. So that's that Casiasco water tower next to us. You see that water tower? It's a white water tower and it says Casiasco. See how it's spelled? It's spelled like Cosco, Cosco, but the C is silent and I think the U is silent, Casiasco. Yeah, something like that. Whoever came up with that is, is, is um, <laughs> intricate. We got the Atella County Fire Department. We passed that on my left hand side. Casiasco climate controlled storage on our right hand side. Wow, th that storage building was inside some original buildings. So they basically put storage unit containers inside of an original building. All right, we're in Madison, West Jefferson and Madison. Wow, look at more Christmas tree decorations on my right hand side. And they really went out with the Christmas decorations here. Check that out. This town must look neat at night time. We got the Trinity Lodge on my right hand side, Master Mason, Fellow Craft, Shrine, Entered Apprentice, Eastern Star, and Chapter. That's what it says. 
Gardener Engineering. We're at South Madison and West Monroe. Let's travel a little further forward and let's see what the surrounding houses look like. Cause I was about to go left and go back to the downtown area, but I think we've seen a good amount of the downtown area. The houses look pretty neat. Like the structure, the size. There's one story one on my right, it's one story, but it has some uh, character to it. On my left, you got that two, two and a half story, I would say. I guess if you had a pocket full of money and you wanted to build your dream home and you like this type of architecture, you can probably have an architect draw up some plans that are very similar to these houses. Look at this mailbox on my right. What? Oh, pretty cool pretty cool classy little mailbox there and they got lions on their stairway that's neat yeah you could probably have an architecture use the, the influences from these homes show them you know several dozen pictures tell them specifically what, what you like about the homes and you can get one of these styled homes made um, with new materials the only thing is some of the original hard to find materials might be obsolete or very expensive, you know, because they use things on, on, on some of these old houses that you can't find anymore. So, all right, let's um, make this right on Natchez Street. Brantley and Natchez. We got some stars, some football decorations on my right hand side, and some cheerleading uh, decorations. It looks like a one-story area, but look at the one-story house. Like, look at this this one-story house. That looks like it could be one and a half stories. Look at the front, the front, the siding, the siding that they use in the house. I don't know if the camera does justice, but let's just say that's some detailed siding. Most of them have vinyl siding from what I see. This on my left, does it have functional shutters? No. So they have the locks on this house right here, that those those blue shutters. They have the locks, they're just bolted on. So the shutter itself is bolted to the wall, but they have the locks, I guess, because it looks good. It looks more, you know, official, but you, you can't close them because they're bolted down. I guess in the event of an emergency and you wanted to bolt them down, you could probably pull out the bolts and then nail them back in to close your window, but that's not that time efficient and or effective. When they're on latches and they have the actual hinges, you can just swing them and open and close whenever you want. All right, we're at South Natchez and South Wells Street. We got Casiasco Middle Elementary School on my right-hand side. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn so y'all can take a peek at where this uh, elementary school is located. It's a middle and elementary school, so you got the high school around the corner. Let's make this left. Let me show you guys what, what the school looks like. So I guess if you're from Casiasco, you can go to elementary, then to middle, then boom, right after that, you can go to high school, because they had that junior high school. Um, look at that. Welcome. When you enter this loving school, consider yourself one of the special members of an extraordinary family. That's what they made out of the word welcome. Very interesting. And this looks like a dead end. So that's the school itself. Wow, small town school, small enough for you to go to elementary, middle, high school, and then they do have a college nearby. Remember, it was the Bible College. That reminds me of Auburn, Alabama. Auburn, Alabama had an elementary, a middle, and a high school, and then they had Auburn University. So literally, if you spent your whole life in Auburn, you can just go do all your higher education and your 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 you know your primary school in one town. Then you could probably end up becoming a member of of the of the government and work for the town and then boom, you literally spend your whole entire life in one town. <laughs> Made a mailbox on my right. Aha. Nice accents. Yeah, so if you guys want to read a little bit more information 
I'm sorry, I was a little tongue twisted earlier because I was focused on traffic and some of the uh, the pronunciation of the words. It kind of stumped me a bit and I got a speech impediment. I tend to stutter on certain lettering. So it, it took me a minute to process. You probably didn't get a chance to retain the information, but you can always check it out on Google. If you want to know what notable people came from this small town, you got Dave Barnes, who's a singer, songwriter, and musician for Razor and Tie. We'll go over a few more. Right now, we're at Galloway Drive and South Wells Street. I can make a left or I can go straight. I think I'm going to make a left-hand turn. I'm tempted to go left. So let's make this left-hand turn. And as I'm going over this list, you can feel free to look around. And if you don't want to hear me, you can always mute the audio, turn down your YouTube audio, put up your favorite soundtrack, and watch the tour in style. <laughs> you got Billy Ray Bates, who's a professional basketball player. You got Eva Webb Dodd, Anne Boy Ellington, and Mary Comfort Leonard, founders of the Delta Gamma Fraternity. Uh, let's make this right-hand turn on Cherry Street. You have Clarence Harmer, or I'm sorry, Clarence Harmon, former NFL running back for the Washington Redskins. James Meredith, civil rights figure. Charlie Muzzlewhite, blues harmonica player and band leader. Speaking of harmonica, harmonicas are cool, right? How people can really get into them and they can really like, like, you know, blow a nice tune. That's decent. All right, let's turn over here. You got Jason Niles, who's a lawyer, newspaper editor, and politician. You got Topher Payne, who's a playwright. You got Oprah Winfrey, billionaire, media entrepreneur, and producer, actress, author, philanthropist, and former talk show host. Whoa, and you got Mark Woodward, who's a former NFL linebacker for the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> Yo, this is Oprah Winfrey's town? Yo, Oprah Winfrey, you used to go to that downtown back in the day? Yo, this is crazy. I'm just accidentally stumbling upon towns that these famous people was in or from. That's cool. You know, she's a billionaire. I think she was the first African-American a female billionaire. That's amazing. Oh, look at those two beautiful dogs. They have collars on, so they're owned. We're at Oakler and, I'm sorry, Oakland and Hickory. It's funny, because I was looking at Oakland, but then I saw Hickor, and Hickor got the O-R, so I said Oaklor. <laughs> um, Oakland and Hickory. Let's make this left-hand turn. Those two beautiful dogs across here are staring at us probably protecting their, their property. Oh, there's another dog on my right, too. Look at them. They're not on a leash. They just, they have collars. They're just not on a leash. They're staring at us, too. Heavy. <laughs> That's cool. Nice dogs. That's what a dog is supposed to do. A dog's supposed to be a guard dog and protect the family, especially when they're well cared for. We're at Galloway and Hickory Street. All right, I think we're going to make a left-hand turn. So I wonder which house was Oprah's, right? Like, did we already pass Oprah's house? You know, you know what I'm talking about? Wonder what was the population when Oprah lived here? Because she's what, above 50s, right? She's 50, 60, I don't know her, her age. You know, they say never ask a woman for her age, but I mean, she's she has some age on her, right? So she was probably here in like the 60s. It was probably a much smaller population than like 3,000 people, you know what I mean? Or something roughly around that. So far, the smallest town we've been to was Toontown. Less than 400 people. And it barely looked, we, we saw all about, but like nine people standing outside. <laughs> it was a small town. If you haven't checked out that tour, check, check it out. All right, so you got Cherry. We already went through Cherry. So we're gonna go straight in and make a left. Oh, we got the sheriff on my right hand side. So a sheriff must live here. This is his home on our right hand side because you got the sheriff. He works for Carroll County. 
How many of you live next to a police officer or on your block is a police officer? Let me know in the comment section. Because I see that a lot in the country lately. Like we'll go to like a country environment, we'll go to the suburbs or we'll do some, some small town and there'll be the sheriff's car parked in one of the houses. Like, whoa, like that must suck, dude. Like, <laughs> you can't do nothing. You can't get away with nothing with the sheriff living next door. So the Kosciuszko is located along the Yakanukani River, 62 miles northeast of Jackson. Let's make this left-hand turn on Goodman. I like this house right here, right here. There's one on the corner of my right-hand side of Goodman. That's a cool house. So to my knowledge, Jackson is one of Mississippi's, if not Mississippi's biggest city. And this is located near that. We're actually gonna be doing a tour of Jackson. So if you wanna check out that tour of what Jackson looks like, Mississippi's biggest city, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bell. So when that video drops, YouTube can notify you and let you know when the video is uploaded. We just passed a piece of land that was for sale. We're passing Hines Street. We're on Goodman and Hines. We got Atwood Personal Care Home on our right. Then we're passing Hickory Street. There goes that word again, Hickory. Hickory Dickory Dot. Hickory and Goodman. I like Hickory barbecue sauce. And I like, uh, I like spicy barbecue sauce. I like all barbecue sauce, for real, for real. And most recently, I was, I put myself on, I was about to say I was just put on, but low key, I put myself on to mustard barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's it's it, it looks like a like a honey mustard, but it's barbecue sauce. But it tastes banging. It tastes good. That jam tastes popping. Y'all gotta try it sometime. Mustard barbecue sauce. It comes in a bottle, just like barbecue sauce. It looks just like honey mustard, but it literally says mustard and then barbecue sauce below it. it tastes good. All right, we're back on Jefferson. I am going to make a right hand turn on Jefferson. Let's let's go behind where City Hall and all that was at. Cause remember there was a bunch of homes all over there. Let's see what those homes look like. I'm gonna turn on the air because the windshield is becoming foggy. And I don't want it to get too foggy where you guys can't see it. So if you hear the ambience in the background, that's because there's air on. It's actually the heat. Got it on low though. Weather's 40 degrees right now, so yeah. We got a little garage on my right hand side. Where the yard looks like an automotive yard. There's about a dozen cars parked in that yard. Speed limit's 35 miles, we're doing about 16 miles. chain special on my right hand side got a cool classic car on my left hand side there's a gentleman loading up a a washer that was an appliance service building we had a vehicle behind me so I'm gonna have to like speed it up just a little bit to 20 miles an hour so they don't get frustrated we just passed Lumber Street let's go up another two blocks no one block let's let's do one block let's turn right before this Casiasco water tower on our left, we got a business that says Premier Treasure and More. So you get to see the water tower once again. And then you got the United Auction Gallery on my right hand side. Let's make this left. We're on 
Wells Street once again. We got Casiasco Furniture on my far left hand side. Let me see if this car behind me is gonna follow me. No, they're not gonna follow me. If they don't follow me, I can do maneuvers like, like this. You see, I can share the little furniture business. Now, if you're new to the channel, um, what I do is I map out different towns, different neighborhoods. I do my best to do it within a short period of time to document some of the neighborhood. We're on Pope, the intersection of Pope and Wells. But I do that by using my vehicle as a tool. I do walking tours and I do driving tours, but I do a lot more driving tours because I'm able to cover more square miles than I am able to walk. I can't walk an entire town in one hour, but I can cover a good bit of mileage in one hour via vehicle. And I'm able to see a lot more. Where Adams and Wells, look at this house on my left. Look at that rooftop, that structure. It looks so church-like, but that's a home. We're passing Adams. They have rocking chairs out front. They yeah, got an RV on my right, a Class A. Right, we got a speeder behind me. I'm gonna allow them to go by. I got another one. You know when they're speeder when they come from the corner to the, to your rear bumper in like three seconds. <laughs> All right, this is Pilsudski. Pil, uh, Pilsudski, Pilsudski Street. And we're about to pass this railroad track. It says Hudgens Tire and Battery. Custom wheels and tires. It looks like a tire business on my right hand side. We got a nice 80s model uh, vehicle right there. It's not bad. It's a box, but it's healthy. It looks like it's in great shape. Chevy, right? We're at Elm and Wells. Let's make this left. I got another vehicle behind me, kind of tough. I, I would have loved to slow down to, to admire that old vehicle a little bit more. Yeah, that looked like a box Chevy, but that was in really good condition. Really good condition. We're on Elm Street. At Tays oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're on Elm Street, Atkinson. I had to think about how to pronounce that, Atkinson. And Elm. I'm gonna make this right hand turn because they're doing some work on that block in front of us. Well, we got an abandoned house right here, guys. We found our first abandoned house. I wonder if this was Oprah Winfrey's house. <laughs> if it was, man, she could buy like 500 of these. She might remember that episode when she was giving out a car. She said, You get a car, and you get a car, and you get a car. She might as well start giving out houses. <laughs> you get a house, and you get a house, and you get a house. She gonna give everybody a tiny house, <laughs> which is cheaper than a car. Cause a car is what, like 20 grand for like a Kia or something, 20, 30, 35 grand for like a basic model or, or middle model. A tiny home, you could probably get like a 10 by 12 shed for like three, four, five grand and then deck it out and be like 10 grand. So, hey, but listen, at least you can live in it. All right. We can make a right or we can make a left. I'm gonna make, oop, we got a car coming. I'm gonna make a right hand turn though. So the climate here is categorized as hot and humid summers and generally mild to cool winters. According to the coping climate classification system. I'm gonna allow them to go because they're giving me the right of way, but I'm not in a rush. Casiasco has a humid subtropical climate. That's interesting. Subtropical. We're at North Wells and West North Street. North Wells and West North. So on our left hand side, we got the Medicaid division. I'm gonna turn off the heat because it's kind of getting steamy in here.
right, we're at North Jackson and North. We're gonna make this left hand turn. We're gonna go on to Jackson. Ouch, ouch, the bumps. See, that's the stuff I'll be talking about that be loosening up stuff. We got First Baptist Church on my left hand side. Ouch, ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Remember that name earlier that I said that I couldn't pronounce? It was Tadus. Well, Tadus was the first name of Casiasco. His name was uh, Tadus Casiasco. Casiasco is named for the Polish general Tadus Casiasco, who assisted the United States military efforts during the American Revolution. Wow. So let me spell it for you T A D E U S Z. So it could be Tadus. It got a Z at the end, but it's Tad Tadus. So Tadus Casiasco. That was his name. However, the engine size name omits the Z. Ah, Casiasco was originally named Redbud Springs for one of the three natural springs that were present in the city. Cool. We got a CVS pharmacy in front of us. We're next to our marathon gas station on my right. We have another gas station on my left and another one across the street we, we're, we're next to three gas stations 301 on my left hand side right across the street at x sign is 309 that's kind of tough to compete with that's an eight cent difference but then again some people live and swear by a certain type of gas oh wow they're, they're doing some street work here guys look at look check it out check it out they're, 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 they're laying a new street hold up am, am i supposed to be driving on this side <laughs> Now, there's a car behind me driving here, so I guess you're allowed to drive here. We got many businesses, like a McDonald's on my right, a discount drugs on my left called Sullivan's Discount Drugs, a Renner Center, Tech South. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. So I think, or am I? I'm gonna make a right-hand turn. Or am I, ah, what to do? I'm gonna make a right-hand turn. <laughs> Cause it looks like they doing some serious work there and I don't wanna ruin their little, uh, there's several cars there, but yeah, let's keep it going. We got somebody filling up their uh, generator on my right, putting some gas in it. We got a tractor supply company right here. All right, let's check out the tractor supply company. <laughs> I guess there's a little back block right here that we can use to exit. I didn't really start seeing tractor supply companies until we left Philly. And then I started seeing them like in the south and in the country more. I guess it makes sense for tractors, right? Tractor supply, you don't really use tractors in Philadelphia. There's no farms. Small farms, but no like real genuine farms. I guess you can get all your supplies here. Lawnmowers, wheelbarrows, soil, pottery mix, and all that stuff. Yeah, they're laying fresh street. The street over there is steaming. So I guess they're, you know, taking turns between traffic. Is Casiasco safe? You might be thinking that. Well, let's check out what the World Wide Web says. We're passing Bachman, spelled Batchman. Is Casiasco, Mississippi safe? The C minus grade means the rate of crime is slightly higher than average U.S. city. Casiasco is in the 32nd percentile for safety, meaning 68% of the cities are safer and 32% of the cities are more dangerous. Hmm. <laughs> it makes you think, huh? We're passing the Yorkshire Apartments. It looks like a little private community. I didn't want to go down through it. They got a, y'all probably didn't see it, but the rear butt end of a Buick Regal. No, that was an Oldsmobile. My bad, Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. They all look damn near similar, the, the G bodies. Wow, so there's, I guess, some type of crime that, that, that goes on here, huh? It always makes you wonder, like, where exactly is the crime taking place? Who is committing the crime? We're passing Fenwick. We're on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. Got a gentleman on my left-hand side. 
of a bag and it looks like he had a beer. Either a beer or let's just say an ice cold beverage. Got a trampoline on my left hand side. We're approaching Brooks Street. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on Brooks Street. We're at Brooks and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. Let's turn off of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. That's a mouthful to say. You should try saying it. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive in Brooks. We're currently at the intersection of Dr. Martin Luther King Drive and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yo, there's so many Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive streets, avenues, boulevards in every single state. We're at Brooks and Blackberry Drive. Have any of you ever had a Blackberry phone? Have you ever had a Blackberry? I've never had a Blackberry. I've always heard of them, saw them. I had friends that had Blackberries, but I've never had a Blackberry. Anybody remember the Nextel? The Nextel chirps, the Boost, the Boost Mobiles? Remember when you had to buy like a $20 fill-up card, a $25 fill-up card, like the $10, $15 fill-up card, so you can have minutes? You, you remember, remember? <laughs> I think the minutes will last like three months. If you didn't use them, then they expired and you lost your number. <laughs> Where, what's this? Fenwick, Blackberry or Fenwick? I used to swear by my uh, um, Boost Mobile. I used to love them, yo. I had, I swear, like like three or four different, no, like four or five different Boost Mobiles. From like the really basic one to the i25 to the i, I think it was 830. I had the one with the little mirror in the back. I had like a flip clear one i had the i9 something like like one of the best ones at the time like the most expensive flip one that you can get at the time listen to me i'm talking about flip phones here <laughs> yo I'm, but don't get it twisted i had a nokia one of the nokia bricks with with the little snake game i had that too and that wasn't a flip that was a whole brick that, yo, that phone was a warrior no matter how many times you dropped it that phone you pick it back up and dust yourself off and you can call again. <laughs> We're at Fenwick and on our left, you can go to Vaden. There's a town called Vaden and North Jackson. Yeah, there's a town called Vaden. We got a CBD store on my right hand side. We're passing Citizens Bank on my right. Oh, this is the back where they're doing the street work, right? All right, cool. They're doing it on my right hand side. Let's not go right. Uh, we just went around the block. We got Lindsay's Auto Sales on my right. Let's make a left, a left hand turn because I don't want to go back to that same road where they're laying the street. Oh, snap. I remember this gas station. You remember, remember? We actually came here last night for some um, fuel. Wow. Yeah, we, we, we came through, through here. Uh, where, where did we went? Which, which pump? Which pump? We was on number three? No, we was on number five. Pump five. Pump five, y'all. Two new, no, pump seven, really. I think we went, yeah, it was pump seven. I'm lying. Two didn't use pump five. Two used pump seven. Yeah, we went there. I think we filled up with like 92 bucks. That was a little less than a half a tank. We got Smoke's Vapor Shop on my left hand side. A Mac truck about to pass us on my right hand side. I'm going to merge right behind this, this Mac truck. Wow, that's extremely long rig you're pulling there, buddy. Merge, right? We loan up to 400 bucks. Wow. You heard my enthusiasm when I said we loan up to 400 bucks. Wow. <laughs> I could buy a year's worth of oodles and noodles with 400 bucks. <laughs> and by the end of the year, have like super duper clogged arteries. <laughs> have like high sodium and all that stuff but i like some oodles and noodles once in a while once in a while yeah i like um which is the brand which is the one that i eat it's a green bag i can't think of it right this second it's green it's spicy ah i can't think of it what's it called i don't remember what it's what it's called oh the chili the chili bag Let's make this right hand turn on North Natchez Street. Yeah, the chili. We got the Valero Market on my left hand side. Yeah, the chili joint be popping. If you ain't ever tried chili, you gots to try it, y'all. You gots to. Tune endorses chili oodles and noodles. Say, no, no, I don't. <laughs> eat it at your own risk. But you gotta eat it in moderation because too much of it, from, from what 
when I hear it got high salt. We we got Harper's laundry on my right hand side. But what I do, see, I don't just you see, that's where y'all got it wrong. I don't just eat oodles and noodles by themselves. I try to like add scallions to it. I like adding vegetables to it. You gotta try that sometime. Buy like a bag of scallions. Scallions are like the long onions. Um, the ones with the root, the little furry root. At, well, not furry, but the little hairy, well, not hairy, but the little stringy root at the end. Um, we're passing Cooler's Package Service. Some, some business on my right called Cooler's with a K. Let's make this right. Let's just make it right. Because I got cars behind me. And, and he just beeped at me. And I'm uncertain why he would beep at me. He was way behind me. He still beeped at me. I guess I was going too slow for his taste. But um, speaking of taste, some scallions. Or if you don't like scallions, you might say tuna. But I don't like onions. Add some vegetables to it, though. Like, I don't know. You got little carrots, little peas. Just, just to give it a little bit of, 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 you get some health benefit from it. You know what I mean? Broccoli. You can put little, little, little broccoli sprouts. Um, I don't know. Whatever your favorite. But me, I like scallions in specific. I like scallions. Scallions taste good. But you can also <coughs> eat it on the side with like some vegetables too. Like some collard greens, some green beans, um, some corn on the side. If you want to add a main entree too, you could, you could really. See, that's 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 the misconception. I guess when you on a low budget, you you know you only eating noodles. But if you have some some room for exploration, we're on North Jackson Street. You could combine those noodles with like something else and make a whole dish. Just know that the noodles is gonna be the most flavorful and potent. <laughs> I sound hungry, don't don't I? I'm talking about noodles and noodles. Let's make this left on Lewis. Oh snap! Is, is this a block? Yeah, this this is a block. Check it out, we got one story houses on my left hand side. Street side mailboxes, these look a little bit smaller than the last ones we've been seeing. Well, I had a nice little backyard drive through on my right. I didn't want to point to the drive through because it was open, I knew there's people back there, but it is like a back block, like a back alley block. Lewis and North Natchez. Uh, there's a car coming, so I'm gonna let them pass. People around here tend to um, be destined to get to their destination on time. <laughs> you better just be headed to work. All right, there you go. All right, I'm gonna go. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is quite of an interesting. Um, Decline to incline. It was like taking you downhill and then it shot you back uphill. We're passing fairground. <clears throat> We're on Natchez and fairground. West Adams and North Natchez. Natchez reminds me of like Sanchez. It's just spelled N instead of a, a S. Like Satchez, not Sanchez, but Satchez. You know what I'm talking about? No, you don't know what I'm talking about. You don't remember, remember? You don't, you don't remember? No? All right, it's cool. Let's make this left hand turn on Washington. That's the downtown district directly in front of us. Oh, we can't. It's a no outlet. You can't go. Do not enter. All right, so we'll go forward. And let's make a left hand turn right here at Jefferson Street. All right, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, we have officially reached our one hour mark. I try to keep these tours at one hour long for viewer retention and file management purposes. I would appreciate it if you guys considered smashing that thumbs up button. If you want to subscribe, that'll be neat. Show some love in the comment section. Drop some emojis. Drop your thoughts, your comments. If you have any knowledge, any information about this area, if you've been here, if you live here, let us know. 
feel free to engage with other commenters that are commenting across the world wide web you can educate them as well as educating myself i learn from you you learn from me we learn from each other this is your homeboy tune mr tune dollars tune 215 y'all know tune be chilling you could call me Kasiasco tune <laughs> Kasiasco not Kasiasco but Kasiasco tune nah, nah I'm 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 cool just just call me Mississippi tune and I'm tuning out